On today's video, we're gonna be making a cheesy homemade mac and cheese, but a pizza version. Pizza, macaroni, and cheese. Stay tuned. All right, jumping right into the ingredients. That's about a pound of elbow mac and some salted water. The rest of the ingredients are laid out here on our beautiful ingrain cutting board. Two cups of mozzarella, two cups of cheddar, a half a cup of Parmesan. We're gonna dice up an onion. We got some seasonings. That's a little can of tomatoes. We're gonna do some milk. We're gonna chop up some pepperonis. I got this little disposable 13 by nine pan. And we're gonna combine everything. We're gonna bake it in the oven and it's going to be a pizza mac and cheese. Super easy, super simple. Let's dive into it. All right, got the noodles strained. I chopped up that small white onion and now I'm gonna chop up this pack of pepperoni and then I'm gonna start adding everything progressively into the mixing bowl. All right, so that's the white onion that I diced up. That's the pack of pepperonis that I diced up. This is just over a pound of that elbow mac that I boiled in the salty water. Don't worry if you don't write this down, it's gonna be in the link in the description below. Let's add some other stuff. All right, like a little bit, teaspoon or so, garlic powder and a little teaspoon, a little more of Italian seasoning. This is a 14 ounce can of just petite diced tomatoes, regular old dollar can of diced tomatoes. We're going in with two cups of milk. There we go. And then two cups of the cheddar, like I said earlier, two cups of the mozz, and a half cup of the parm. And now we're gonna get crazy and mix. Just cause I'm fancy, I'm gonna add in a little salt, pepper, garlic too. PS seasonings, this stuff is really good. Now I have a high temperature glove on underneath my rubber glove. That's why these elbow mac is not burning the hell out of my hands. But I just figured it'd be easier to mix it this way to start mixing it. And the basil that I talked about in the beginning of the video, that's gonna be the garnish when it's all done getting baked. So I'm just giving it a good mix. I'll also use a spoon, but it smells really good so far. That's for sure. Definitely pretty good. Then we're gonna get this in our disposable 13 by nine baking tin and get it in the oven at 375, 20 minutes covered, probably 10 minutes uncovered to crisp up the top, add that basil, and that's gonna be it. Super simple recipe. It's gonna be really good. I think the kids are really gonna like it. You know what would be even better would be fresh basil at the very end. So I'm gonna cover this with foil. Like I said, we're gonna put it in the oven. Don't mind the tripod. We're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375. I'm gonna uncover it, cook it another 10 minutes uncovered, sprinkle that, not fresh basil, on top of it. And then we're gonna eat. See you in about 30 minutes. All right, I wanna take a quick moment out of this video to talk about today's sponsor, which is Foss Studios. Now, if you've seen our YouTube videos in the past, you see our thumbnails, you see our TikTok, YouTube shorts, our vertical videos, our long form videos. Foss Studios got you covered for all of it. I've been using these guys for a long, long time now. We have a great working relationship. So if you're a YouTuber or want to create any type of social media content, Foss Studios. Link below in my description, give them a call, tell them Josh and Babe sent you, they'll hook it up. Great job. They can do you anywhere in the whole entire country in the world. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, now let's jump back into the video. I'm not ready. I've been napping today. Yeah, but today you're in the video It's been now. wonderful and I woke but up But I made you something homemade special. Homemade mac and cheese. Homemade pizza mac and cheese. Pizza mac and cheese. Yeah, what do you think, babe? How I does mean, it look? It smells looks good. really good. It smells good. It smells good. It looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Are the kids going to like it? Mmm. Mmm. I, feel like, I like it. I feel like it's child's food. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's this not? This is adult mac and cheese. Oh, this is adult mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. No. That's really good. There's a lot of cheese, and I put basil yeah. on top of it. I didn't think I'd like it, and mm. I like this. This is adult mac and cheese. This is good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Mm, you guys need job. to try and make this. This is a good mm. recipe. Mm, really there good. There you go. All right, babe. See you on the next one. Bye.